What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general and uh, the general energy, the general reading for somebody. Hmm, there's something with that. Somebody's energy could feel off to you. You're right. It could be your energy that's off. It was somebody at your job or somebody you, you, you go to school with or something like that, Gemini. Okay, trust trust your instincts. All right. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see. Give me a second. I want to move this. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to pull two oracles and then we're going to clarify. I hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. I hope you, I hope you guys are having an amazing time here on this planet that we call Earth. I haven't been um, like in the loop with with, with like because I don't watch the news. It's been years since I've turned on the television to watch the news. I watch a lot of YouTube, but <clears throat> um, and a lot of um, Disney um, movies. <laughs> I'm 28 and I love um, children movies. Like, I love them. But anyway, um, rest and rejuvenate, Gemini. A lot of you guys need to relax. Take it slow. Take it easy. Um, I'm getting that you could be having, like, you could have, like, certain plans for, cert like, tomorrow, right? Or today. You're just like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And then you know, you realize that the way things are going, it's like it's not going the way you want to here. And it could be that the universe is trying to push you to like take it slow, you know, like it's not a like relax here type of energy because you could be kind of doing too much. And the universe wants you to be still right now because I feel like I feel like when the universe wants us to be still, it's because they want us to they're trying to get us to see something to know something. But if we're too distracted, oh, I can't run out. <laughs> but if we're too distracted or moving around too much, we might miss what they're trying to tell us. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah. Right, let me stop talking. Ooh. Envy. Ay, ay, ay. Um, Gemini. Arriba! I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> what? What? So you guys could be Mexican or be dealing with a Mexican. I don't know, bro. You have appreciation. Oh, someone appreciates you, Gem. Um, this person could have recently gave you something. Somebody really appreciates you. Um, and I don't feel like <clears throat> I don't feel like this person is like out outright saying it. Or maybe they, or maybe they have shown you, you know, because they gave you something. But it's like it, it's like ten times more than that, ten times more than that. They're really, they are really um, downing it down or dumbing it down for you, for whatever reason, right? All right. So the first card you have is envy. <clears throat> this is a crazy ass energy to start with. I'm not gonna lie to you, um, but I love you end with the healer of ages, so that's beautiful. Okay, but anyway, you got envy here. So you could be dealing with an Aries or have that in your chart because kind of the same energy, but not really. <laughs> you got a hater. Okay, you also got a hater. Aries also got a hater. Um, you got a hater. What is this? Reflect on your priorities. Could be an Aquarius, doesn't have to be here. I feel like there's somebody here who's trying to distract you. Someone here is trying to distract you. You know what I just got too? If you're watching this for a Gemini, the Gemini is trying to distract you. Like if you're cross watching for a Gemini, it's going to be reversed. So the Gemini is trying to distract you. I don't know why I got that, but somebody might be, might be watching this for a Gemini. Okay, anyway. Let's um let's see what this reflect on your priorities and envy is. Death card could be a Scorpio, another Gemini. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords in reverse. I'm also getting um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <laughs> it could be a Virgo. Seven of Swords is here. That's why I laughed. Um, 
you have the death card, the lovers in reverse, the knight of wands in reverse, and the queen of swords. This could be a lover. This could be somebody who you just separated from, okay? Um, you could have just ended something with somebody here. And I feel like this was a logical choice. Like, I don't understand what's the problem. <laughs> Give me a second. Like, I feel like the universe is, like, bringing this, like, this energy is so crazy to deal with sometimes. I'm trying to be fidgeting, like, because I've been trying to, like, calm down. <laughs> um, it's like, it made sense. For this to end it's it was the logical choice here um but someone someone's upset someone's upset someone's like i feel like they're blaming you they're like this was your fault like this was your fault but you're showing me this was a logical thing to do new like i don't know you know you have the hermit the seven of swords and the nine of swords in reverse it's like you could have like did something <laughs> on the low low you know what i'm saying um like you could have for example right like you could have like if this was a relationship you could have like left in the middle of the night you know what i'm saying like you guys got into a big ass argument they went you know to their you know sister's house brother's house whatever and when this person came back you were not there that type of shit like you did something sneaky and they didn't like that but you're showing me this was the smartest thing to do and i feel like you were avoiding probably a crazy ass argument or you did you were avoiding confrontation with this person and you were just like i gotta do it like this because if not it's and and the reason why i um am like it's not a bad thing that you did this and and the reason why i'm like this person is like what's going on with you is because you have the hermit here so this wasn't a decision that you just like, oh, it's what I'm going to do. Like, F this person and I don't care. Like, you took your time, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you took your time because you knew what you were going to do was going to have, you know, uh, a, a backlash to it. Like, after you did it, you know, it's, it's, it's like, okay, now what's going to happen? Yeah. I feel like you, you never thought that you were going to have to do this. Like, you never thought that this was going to have to be the way that you were going to have to move. But it's different for all of you, whatever happened that, you know, made you need to do this. Yeah, somebody's pissed. Somebody's pissed, bro, and, and wants to start a situation now. But it's like, bro, again, this was the most logical thing to do. So this person needs to calm down. And I'm hoping that, that they do for you. <laughs> Because bruh, I five of cups. Yeah, they're 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 upset that, that you left. They're upset that you left or that, that you guys separated. They're 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 feeling the loss between you two heavy right now. But it's like bruh, you don't think Gemini like and I feel like even though this person might think that you don't care, but I don't think that's what it is. I feel like you had no other choice. You know what I'm saying? Like it got to that point. Alright, anyways. Next card is all tied up. So someone here is acting like they can't do something when they really can. What is this? Attuned to the divine. Could be a Pisces. Or this could be you. Um, I feel like your intuition is telling you this. What is this? You have the nine of coins, the page of coins. Okay, the empress in reverse, the six of wands with the seven of coins in reverse. Huh. it's like you're trying to offer something to someone or someone's trying to offer something to you take it how it resonates and um I feel like both of y'all are very independent, whatever this is. This could be a work thing. But it's like you're, it's like an offer is, is whatever's trying to, whatever's being offered, there isn't any love. It's like, like, let's just work together. 
type of like like it's I don't know how to explain it. It's 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 like it's like making a deal with a robot. It's kind of what it feels like. Something is not gonna grow because someone's holding back. It's like they're only offering you a little bit, but they can offer you a lot more than what they're offering you. You have the Five of Coins, the Seven of Wands, in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you feel like, like they're lacking because they are. The universe wants you to stop fighting for this and, and just get, and allow this to end here. You're not listening to your intuition here. Yeah, heal and start looking for new. Especially if this is a job or a person, it doesn't even matter. You, you'll get out of your head here. You might think that you're not ready, but that's not true. You know it's because you're holding on to not wanting to close this chapter out. So this is you. You're the one that's like, no, I can't do anything. Because you know that you're being offered something. Could be at work or um, in general. And the Empress is here, so it could be in love as well. But you're being offered something and it's not lucrative. Like it's not something that you could grow off of, but you're still trying. You're still like, yeah, we're going to make this work. Like, and you're showing me like, oh, I, I can make this work. Like I can. And, and I'm not saying you can, but I don't feel like that's the way. It's not the way there's something way better because you're not, it's not receptive to you. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Okay, the next card you have is Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. Oh my gosh, Gemini. Ooh, do -do 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 -do. I love this card. <clears throat> um, because I always get like different, um, very intense um energy with this card. But um, you're. <laughs> Everything that you could ever want, Gemini, like the things that you had that you really, really want more prevalent right now is is about to show itself is what I'm really getting. Like the universe is about to show you, okay, like the they're going to clear the route and they're going to be like, this is the way you got to go. And the things that with this car, this is like a love and hate relationship with this car because it's like whenever it comes out, it's like you could be not looking at the window or not wanting to look at the window what is this go deeper new moon in scorpio this could this could be with scorpio if you can have that in your chart um i feel like you're shying away from it i do whatever this is i feel like it's In order for you to go down this path or down this road, whatever, to the door of personal healing and happiness, you have to get in touch with your the parts of you that you have buried deep, 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 deep down. And, you know, that could be a little challenging for you. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, maybe you just separated from someone or something. And you're just like, I'm not ready to go down this road right now. Like... But the door shows up at the time that it's supposed to, Gemini, not the time that we want it to, okay? What is go deeper, um, door to personal and healing happiness? The wheel of fortune. Bottom of the deck is the king of cups. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Because your intuition telling you, I'm ready. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, you have the wheel of fortune, the devil in reverse. The Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. <laughs> in reverse. Okay, so... Um, this was fated to happen. You released something recently that was very negative here. And then this came comes in like right after. Okay? Now, you're showing me that you have definitely decided to release this and not, to, and not go back to whatever this negative... Person, place, or thing is. The thing could be a thought or a mindset, okay? Um, with the Tower, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups. I am so proud of you, Gemini. I want to cry for you. I am so proud of you. And you should be proud of yourself, too. Like, this tower, this crazy-ass situation that happened, you took this like a champ. You took this like a champ. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? This is, you should be so proud of yourself. 
Pat yourself on the back. You like this is beautiful energy. So now that you experienced this and now that you went through this, what's up, Gemini? You don't think you deserve a gift? You don't think you deserve some type of reward for you getting out of this crazy ass negative, crazy ass situation? Like I, it, the devil energy is, is no joke. Been there, you know what I'm saying? That shit is no joke, and to get out of it is also no joke been there so that's why i'm saying you handled this so well bro and um this was fated to come in whatever it is that's coming in to help you heal and whatever i feel like it couldn't come in a better time to be honest because you've just been dragged okay like you just you just survived a drag from the universe <clears throat> justice in reverse the knight of coins and the queen of coins in reverse yeah you were going through some unfair ish it's like people were spitting in your face every day you know obviously that, that's an analogy but you know what i'm saying yeah you stopped nurturing something here that you thought was committed and reliable So you're going to have to get in touch with your emotions, boo-boo. Some of you guys are on the door to personal healing and happiness, but you're not going deep enough. You're like keeping a surface level because, again, you just separated from something. And the universe is like, no, you got to go deep with this, Gem. Don't try to don't try to be slick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the universe always catches us. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. You know, this is all simulation. This is all. Um, but anyway, let me stop talking. The first, the second card you have, the second card. Something about the 2nd of September could be significant because that's coming up. Okay. Um, Healer of the Ages is your last card. <clears throat> I feel like your heart is healing. I feel like you're feeling better. Your health could be getting better as well or it will be. Know you are love, Libra energy. Wow, you're about to get, um, you're about to get some... I'm getting unexpected love. Like, this could be someone loving you. This could be just, like, love in general from people. What does this healer of ages know you are love, new moon, and Libra? There is a new moon that is, uh, at least all new moons. Wow, these three. The new moon is, I think, September 14th. I'm not sure. 12th? I'm not sure. But in the new moon, you guys might have to look it up. The new moon, this might, have, this might come in for you. <coughs> All of, okay, you have judgment, seven of swords, six of cups in reverse, queen of cups in reverse with the nine of wands. All right, so yeah, you're trying to not make it an important decision that you know you need to make <laughs> with the judgment and the seven of swords. You're just like, I'm going to just drag this out a little bit. Okay, um, the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. You're kind of stuck on the path. There's something that is affecting this decision, and I feel like it has to do with the past. And you feel, and that's why you're strategically not opening up to whatever this healing is. This could be a person. I don't know why I want to pull these cards. We're gonna pull these. This is the Romance Angels. I literally just got. Okay, let's see. That was, that was, that was, this never really happens. Release your ex. Bruh. Thank you, spirit. I mean, what is this new thing, though? What is this, um, know you are loved? You gotta release this. That's what I said, the past. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I knew this was somebody else. So there's somebody here who, um, feels like a breath of fresh air. And we spoke about this person, didn't we, already? I feel like we did. But anyway, um, could be a Libra, a Scorpio, a Pisces, or an Aquarius. But this person feels like a breath of fresh air, bro. And I feel like the universe wants you to spend time with this person. This could be the one, bro. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, Gemini? Do you need a hug? It's okay if you if you if you need a timeout for a second. This is a lot. Just because I know what we've been talking about recently. You know, you've been going through some ish with this person and now this comes in and you're just like, what the freak? But you need to let, you need to like 
completely some of you guys have already released your ex but this is like energetically this is like when you release someone you com you completely release them you forgive them for what they have done to you you forgive yourself for what you have accepted and then you move on and you're not going to stay closed off or you're not going to not open up emotionally because of what has happened to you. When you release your ex, you also heal and move on. This person has nothing to do with what happened between you and in, in the past. So don't hold them accountable for it. This person is coming in to help you heal. And you feel that you feel a very um, like nice, passionate connection with this person. It could even be a little weird. But it's weird in a good way. Like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I want to keep that there. Wow, everything happens for a reason. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I never get to pull um, those romance angels. Like, okay, anyway, let's see. What is this envy and reflect on your priorities? Awareness in reverse and relaxation. Didn't we say something about relaxation before in the beginning of the reading? Um... I feel like I feel like the universe wants you to relax because some of you guys might not even be aware of who this person is um, or that this uh, or that this person is trying to do this. Some of you guys could be a little too open to this person that is trying to distract you. So that's why the universe kind of wants you to chill and relax so that you can be aware of this person. You have healing because you could be in a, in a very healing energy and this person could just want to be all over you because of that because maybe they need healing i don't know what is attuned to the divine and all tied up abundance in reverse you're losing more than you're than you're gaining in this situation that you're showing me that, that you know that you should be getting more than what you're getting so it's time to get out of that Point period blank, letting go in reverse, but you're not letting go of it. But it's time to get out because now it's 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 gonna if it hasn't already, it's going to it's it's gonna start like it's not worth it anymore type of energy. Letting go in reverse and dive deep. That's why they want you to dive deep with your emotions because the more you get in tuned with yourself and how you feel, it's like the more you're going to build up the strength to do the things that you probably have been um, pushing back. What is go deeper, um, door to healing, personal, door to personal and healing happiness. You have asked for help. You don't have to do it alone. I feel like a lot of you guys asked for help and the universe brought you help, but it wasn't the help that you, like, it's not, it's not going to be the way that you want. It's going to be the way that we need it. Solitude in reverse. Yeah. And they brought it to you with the quickness because you're, because you were kind of isolating yourself and the universe didn't want that for you. Because if you isolate yourself, then you won't be able to let go of whatever that you need to let go of. Which is why they bought you this person to help you let go of this person. What is a healer of the ages and you know you are loved? You have free spirit in reverse. Yeah, you feel trapped because, this per because of this person. Because of your ex, you know? Because you're still, you know, holding on to what happened between you and them. Move forward in reverse. And gratitude. So they want you to be thankful here that it didn't work with your ex. Some of you guys could be really upset that it didn't work out with this person. Um, go with the flow in reverse. But somebody was resisting. Somebody was resisting and the universe wants you to be grateful that it didn't work out because this right here that's about to show up for you or that it is already in your space is feels it's going to feel so much better. And you're going to be like, I'm so happy that everything happened the way it did because this this it's just... It's a beautiful transition that you're going through, Gemini, and I freaking love this for you. I do, because you freaking need this. Enjoy it, okay? All right, Gem, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this, and stay positive.